Hello everyone. Namaskar. Rajkrishna this side. So let's solve one more problem from relation between operators. So we have to prove that 1 plus delta square by 2 equals to under root 1 plus delta square mu square. So what is the prerequisite for solving this problem? You must know the relation between delta which is the central difference operator and E. And you also must know the relation between mu which is the averaging operator and E. E is the shift operator. So I am writing both of those relations. So delta is E power half minus E power minus half. And your mu is E power half plus e power minus half divided by 2. So once you know these two relations, you can easily start off. Uh, let's start off with RHS. So RHS is your under root 1 plus delta square mu square. Under root will be a bit larger in size this time. 1 plus delta is e half e power half minus e power minus half whole square. And your mu will be e power half plus e power minus half divided by 2 whole square. So, this 1 by 2 square will be 1 by 4, which I can take as an LCM. So, 1 plus. Okay, A minus B whole square. A square plus B square minus 2AB. So, E power half into E power minus half is 1 simply. So, I am just writing minus 2. And from here you will be getting e plus e power minus 1 plus 2. And these are divided by 4. Let's take LCM inside the root. So you would be getting under the root 4 plus. Look, this portion. If I can highlight because I have that power. So this portion is your A and the other portion is your B. So A plus B, A minus B is going to give you A square minus B square. So that will give you E plus B e power minus 1 square minus 2 square is 4 and whole divided by 4. Now this 4 can now be cancelled out. You are left with e plus e power minus 1 whole square divided by 4. If I take this outside the root this will come out as Now what I am doing is, I am uh, adding and subtracting 2 so that I can make some perfect square out of this. So if I add and subtract 2, so I can write this as e power half whole square e power minus half whole square that is equivalent to e power minus 1 only plus 2 into e power half multiplied by e power minus half this one makes perfect square and additional uh, because uh, what I want is 1 plus delta square by 2 so 
instead of plus 2ab i can uh, rearrange it such that i get minus 2ab here divided by 2 and plus 2 which remain can be separately divided by 2 is it fine now this 2 by 2 is 1 and this is nothing but e power half plus uh, sorry minus e power minus half divided by 2 sorry it's whole square divided by 2 a square plus b square minus 2ab ok now e power half plus e power minus half in the beginning I told that is delta which is the central difference operator so this is delta square divided by 2 which is nothing but your LHS. So we started off with RHS and we ended up with LHS. So that's it. We wanted to prove smooth transition as we move on. So again, not that much difficult. Only prerequisite for solving this type of problem is you must know simplification which you uh, know since your childhood. Have patience and also this two result uh, needs to be in there in your mind. Okay. And keep track of LHS and RHS in every step so that you know where you want to reach. Okay, that is important because in the last few steps, if I would have taken this uh, as e power half plus e power minus half, then I needed some 4 in the denominator. So that was uh, and I would not have been uh, getting uh, this. I would have instead be getting this. So this type of thing you have to take a track of if you want to solve this type of problem. That's it for my side. You can watch out more such problems in the playlist Iterative Techniques and Interpolation. Thanks again.